Here we go again. It is time for a new season with Scott Sterling. Our second season with the Columbus Blue Jackets. I just went back and checked. We signed four years with this team. And the first one was playoff list, which is rough. But we're back. We still have Johnny Goudreau. We did trade away Wierenski at last year's trade deadline. So I'm hoping that if we go to the Lions here, we added some players in the offseason. I know that we still can't request a trade. I feel like that's just a be a pro bug because my friend was also doing a be a pro and he was telling me he couldn't request a trade and I've never seen the option. So I feel like that's not a thing right now. I would also like to point out that we are up to 91 overall. How about that? Scott has 4.7 million followers. That's cap. No way. Anyways, moment of truth. Let's view the lines here and see what Columbus is looking like. We have Johnny Goudreau, Ken Johnson, and Marchenko. Okay. We have Patrice Bergeron and Blake Wheeler. Oh, okay. I cannot lie to you. This team looks kind of mid. Defensively, we've got... Oh, dear. Okay. Well, I don't know what to do. This be a pro is just giving me a tough time. I've never had this many bad teams ever, I don't think. Maybe we'll find a way to dig deep and make this squad work, or maybe some additions will be made during the season. That part I doubt. But our first game of the season, our home opener and our season opener all in one, will be up against the Golden Knights. They did not score on their first shot. I already like where this is headed. They did score on their fourth shot, however. Mr. Con Smythe buries one on Scott. And you know what? We're keeping up with them for shots right now. But we need to get a goal. Tie this thing up and get right back into it. It is a 1-0 game after 1. The Golden Knights have 5 more shots than us, but we come out of the gate hot here in the second. And we tie it up. Blake Wheeler, baby. Nice. Alright. That's good. Very good. Power play? Oh, yeah! Here we go. It is a 2-1 game in favor of your Columbus Blue Jackets. And the Golden Knights were 1-0. So they had already played a game and took a dub. And now... We are hoping to make them one and one. Now we do have an objective to win this game because I forgot Johnny Hockey told me, oh, the next game's important when it's the first game of the year. So, you know, I sort of agreed with him, but also said, is it though? Great start from the boys. Georgiev's all over it, but that is a wonderful way to come out of the gate. What a wrist shot that was too. A howitzer, another chance, and this time we bury it. We are dominating right now. It looks like we're playing against like a practice squad. That was close. All right, go Butterfly and challenge the shooter a little bit. I'm just going to commentate what I'm doing, what's going through my head. Marchenko almost got another one. You know what? I think I'm going to go Georgiev. Season opener, home opener, got to set the tone. It's got to be done. I'll let them get... Some sort of chance here, maybe. Unless our team's just gonna shut them down. Whoa! Alright, yeah, that's the last straw. You are Dunyans. Let's go. Nope. Please no. Yeah, we're good. Alright, Georgiev, let's see what you got. Maybe I fought you in the past, I don't know. But no one has taken me down yet. And I assure you, you are not gonna be the one to have that on your record. Ooh, he almost stumbled just going up close and personal. Going for the hook, but no can do. And boom. Yeah, he's literally got nothing left. Uh, I could just... Nah, I'm not going to go for the takedown. Eat that! Let's go! I assume at some point in time it's happened, but I am curious as to whether or not there's ever been just a goalie fight. There was no players fighting, and, you know, like a line brawl, something like that. The goalies decided, yeah, we'll jump in too. Just two goalies going toe-to-toe -to -toe. it's probably happened but i feel like it would have been a long time ago Ooh, okay white cloud got a shot up close and personal and that will be no he's well he fooled me i thought for sure he was going for the cross crease pass and he just rifled it from the line so well played you know what yeah good job you beat me you did. Oh, he wasn't even close to the line. He was way off. So I don't know what was going through my head. And the defense had the pass, kind of. Yeah, I probably should have just stayed there. Oh, well. Live and learn. He didn't go for the pass either. I feel like I'm maybe just still scarred from the Edmonton Oilers that somehow managed to pull off the cross-crease pass every single time, no matter where they were. Formenton 
Doesn't get the shot off, and here we go the other way. Drake Batherson carries it out for the Blue Jackets and headmans it to the only goal scorer for Columbus here in the third, Marchenko. But unfortunately, nothing comes of it. Now the Golden Knights back this way. Robbie Fabry lets one go, and Scott will smother that for a faceoff. Let's go, Drake. Ooh, I like the shot placement, though. Definitely here for that. Marchenko battles for it. Gives it to Johnny, and Johnny draws a penalty. That is massive. All right. Man advantage for the next two, or not. Hopefully we get one. Brady Shea just carrying the puck out when he's on the PK. That guy just doesn't care. What was that? Listen here, 4-2. If you try to pull something like that ever again, we're going to have some serious problems. You saw what I did to Georgiev over there, and he didn't even do anything to me. What happened there? I feel like it got in behind him, and then I guess it was just sitting in the paint, and he kind of kicked it away. Blocker save through a couple screens as well. Another shot that will also be saved by Scott. And our power play is no more. So that was sort of a failed attempt at a peeper, but you know what? It's okay. First game of the year. We're just shaking off some ring rust. Five minutes to go, and thanks to Marchenko, we still have a lead here. It was two, but now it is down to one. And it was almost down to none. Shot from the point. Oh my goodness, the rebound. Thank you, 15. What an effort from Archibald defensively. My respects go to you. Whoa. That was a close one in more than one way because it was like real close that player was in my personal bubble and on top of that it was almost a goal so double entendre we have surpassed the two minute warning go to butterfly don't let them try to pull that five hole nonsense from the center scrum whatever you want to call that I don't know what it is I'm going to call it like the hash mark tomfoolery because that's what it basically is and Marcheso, Conn Smythe boy, almost gave Joseph a horrible pass. Okay, okay. Get positioning back. Where is this thing? Smother it? Nope. I'm not going to do it. How about that? How's that for discipline? Ten seconds to go before we win our home and season opener. That would be delightful. And that secured it. Let's go, Kent. Massive W for the Blue Jackets. Taking down the Golden Knights. It's going to be a good year. 39 shots, you know. Scott's stats are going to be looking mighty fine. Conversation with Johnny. Oh, that's right. We had a challenge to win that game. Perfect. Promise success. Teammate likability going up. Wait, what? Well, that just doesn't even make sense. And we are not in against the Edmonton Oilers. Hopefully, we take another dub, and we do. Will we be in for... Did we pick up a goalie? Is that what we did in the offseason? We are 3-0-0. So, lads are kind of buzzing. And I feel like we got to check now. I feel obligated to know who is my goaltending partner. All right. The Toronto Maple Leafs. Sim game, 4-0-0. You heard it here first. Go to the times 8 speed. Just stop. Oh, yeah, they score again on their fifth shot of the game. Amazing. Now I understand why they were starting Joel. Makes a ton of sense. Robertson buries one. Three goals on nine shots. Thank you, Texier. Imagine that. A 91 overall goaltender not being able to save a literal beach ball. Impressive. It actually is. All right, let's just sim this whole game. Absolute joke. We went from like a 948 save percentage to an 898. This Hoffer guy can't seem to lose a game. Going up against the Golden Knights now. And we have a record of 4-1-0. This is the team that we took down, obviously, just a minute ago. So let's... A shorthanded goal. But then they get one on the power play anyway. So it evens out. Are we going to be facing the same team again? Because I'm down. I'll do it. I might even go Georgiev again. Smith scores on the first shot of the second period. But we get one as well. To be fair, their goalie is doing equally as bad. Ten shots for us, two goals. They are nearing 20. 
So in fact, Scott is doing a little bit better. 2-2 game, we have to go into this one. And again, I'm gonna try to finish the season in three episodes, basically broken down into season opener, you know, start of the year, and then trade deadline in the second one, and then finishing the season in the third. Nice try, Shay. It wasn't, but I'm going to give you credit, so hopefully you try doing that again. We need some grit on this team, because our players are getting leveled. Oh dear. We are now set to kill a penalty. We got this. Light work. Let's see what the penalty was even for. That was a clean hit. Oh yeah, oh no. Well, it started good. Didn't end that way though. Where was the Columbus team that I saw in our first game, third period? Because they were buzzing, flying out there. Great moments are born from great opportunity, gentlemen. If he got that rebound off, I would have been so upset. Holy crap, we are getting dummied right now. Let's go here, fellas. Do something. Generate some kind of attack. Ooh, nice one. I like it. Starting to get physical back at him. Because so far, what I've seen from this team is we need some physicality. We might... I had no business making that save. None. Yes! Okay. This is our chance. Let's go! Right off the draw, Texier receives the biscuit. And sends it. Top corner. The Golden Knights bench. Defeated. Yeah! And there's more where that came from. Just a clean draw win. Screened. Georgiev did not stand a chance. Beautiful finish. It is a tie hockey game. That is exactly what we needed. Although we have had a pretty good start to the year, I'm not going to let that deceive me because we had a solid record last year and then we went on like a 37 game losing streak. So that is definitely a possibility that I would like to think won't happen again. But you can't rule it out. All right, Zach, let's see what you got. You got a big glove save at the hands of Mr. Sterling. That's what you have. I thought that hit was going to be way worse than it was. Thankfully, it wasn't. Ooh. And we're starting to fight back. Thank you. That's what we need. Absolutely, that's a penalty. 100% disgusting behavior from Robbie Fabry. Go. Close. We've definitely been cranking up the heat here. Which is nice to see. They're alive. Bergeron gets pinned. Go help him. The guy's like 42 years old for crying out loud. Go! Go, Johnny! I think we got to work on our breakaways here because that was terrible. That almost happened. I saw the puck just suddenly appear, sort of like behind me. Yeah, it was definitely behind me, and then Scott did something. I don't know. Pulled out a magnet and brought it back under him, but that's not good. All right, time to kill off another penalty. Last time it went great. I think we killed off all of maybe one second. No, no, I shouldn't have passed it out. Thank you, Bokefist. What a save. I'm not going to lie, I did pass it out. But I'm not upset that it didn't work. Yep, absolutely, all over it. Now just get the puck over the blue line. That's all I want right now. Oh wow, we're already down to under two minutes. I feel like this third went by really quick for some reason. Ah, oh, we're going to be... No, we're not going to be five on three, actually. Let's at least get this thing to overtime so we can get one point and you know, squeak away with that somehow. I shouldn't have done that. But here we are, and David's making it work. Look at him go. Also trucked that hit. Fabry tried to step up, and he was having none of it. 15 seconds. This game's going to overtime. 
Maybe I spoke too soon. They might come down and rip one here. But I have a feeling, please. Okay. Three seconds left still. <laughs> Never doubted us for a second. 50 seconds of the mint advantage. I was a fish out of water flopping every which way and somehow managed to make that save. Was that a pass or a shot? I feel like that had to be a pass, but it's going down in the save column, so I will take those. Are we headed? I think we are. Yes! Let's go! Our time to shine, baby! Nice shot and nice pass from Johnny. But it wasn't good enough to trick Georgiev. Because he was able to keep it out of the net. And now, here we go. This is like a three-on-one. Or Johnny can just basically give up on it. Let's go, Pat. Patrice! What was that? A little dramatic there, Scott. Can't lie. We love save. I feel like we haven't been to a shootout in forever. Yeah, let's go! I have no idea. How that managed to plinko its way in the net. But it does not matter. An overtime victory for the Columbus Blue Jackets after basically being shorthanded for the final three minutes of the game. What an effort. So we are 5-1-0. Let's actually go to the calendar here and sim some games. 11-4-2. We are currently third in the Metro. And I wanted to play Toronto because they dusted us 5-1 last time. So hopefully we are in for this game. We are. Okay. Come on! We're fourth in the entire league? And what was it, third in our division? That's craziness. Oh my word, they have four shots and no goal yet? This is insanity. And we get the first goal of the game? I do not believe it. Show me the proof. 15 shots and they still can't bury one. I see you, Sim Engine. I see you. All right, it's a close one. Let's get it done. Time to get revenge for that 5 1 L that we took at the hands of the TML. So far, I am really happy with the way the lads are going. And a power play. I feel like that was bound to happen considering we were all over them. Yeah, this one's all me, don't you dare. Bokefist, you're lucky you saved me earlier. Oh sweet, another power play. I'm gonna have to do nothing in this game. This one's free. It's on the house. Chandler has it. He's in. Whoa! <laughs> he just tried to tee one up from right there. And fanned on it. Swing and a miss. Seriously, it's been seven minutes and I don't... I don't think I've made a save yet, have I? Finally had to make a save and I'm gonna pass it out. Because I'm just that confident. I mean, I did forget that, you know, we're only up by one goal here. So that could swing in an instant. No, I thought he was going to just let it go right there on the line. But instead, he decided to try holding on to it. I don't really know what happened there. Questionable. But anyway, it's a tie game. Okay, really? You think you're going to score on that just because you got one goal? Takes them till the third period to score. They finally get one. All of a sudden, their mindset is this guy's Swiss cheese. Give me a challenge. There you go, Philippe. All right, I just maybe like a little bit less of a challenge. Lovely pass. Just sent Johnny down the ice. And he goes for the good old fashioned dump and chase. Nope, not today. They are really clawing their way back into this one here. I mean, it is a tie game, but the way that we came out of the gate in this third I thought for sure this game was a lock. So, well done to Toronto for fending us off. And somehow tying it up. Thank you, Defender. Thanks for being there. Appreciate yous. Glove? Save. Batherson. You gotta get rid of that thing. Alright, let's do anything here. We have had no chances... 
in the last ever. So, if we want to win this hockey game, we better start generating something. There's a shot and a missile of a pass from Scott Sterling. Assisted by the boards. Here we go, 5-9. We just can't get past them right now. Marchenko had such a good chance there. I think we're headed to another overtime here. All right. That could have been quick. It really could have been. Go. Go! Kent Johnson. He's in. Has it poked off of him. Far too easily, in my opinion. And now DeBrus gets it over to... A slap shot on a breakaway. Who do you think you are? Oh dear. Oh dear. Why? Ing Pochik? I mean, it worked? How? Literally could not have cut off the angle any better. And just... I'm so tired. I'm just tired. Well, we're currently at 18 games played. I'm going to sim to the 27 mark. So simulate nine more here. And we are on a losing streak like no other. <laughs> here we go again. What do you mean? I spent a trait point so that I could get these answers. What do you want, Johnny Hockey? We're in DC. Yeah, we sure are. Sure. Let's go to the whatever. Okay, so this one works. Last time I made a promise and fulfilled it. Johnny was like, can't believe you didn't follow through. My stomach is absolutely letting me know right now. I am hungry. Johnny, please just stop. I'm so done with these meetings. Oh, you got a new apartment. How cool. Yeah, sure. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. You have got to be kidding me right now. There's the diplomatic answer that I spent a trait point on. Yes! Currently, Columbus is sixth in the league with a record of 16, 8, and 3. That still only gets us third in the division, and look it. These teams are right on our tail. Like, they are one point behind us, but they have a game at hand. And these guys have two more games than us, but tied for points. Right now, it is Boston with 44 points. They have a record of 21, 6, and 2. That's solid. Dallas is doing very well. Johnny Goudreau, 26 points. Marchenko, 25. Same with Kent. All right, let's go. They should go up in overall. I mean, he did. He was 84 when we started the year, I think. Patrice, 21 points in 25 games. He still got... Insane face-offs? Sure does. Joel's basically the starter. He's 8-3-1 with a 925 save percentage. And then Scott Sterling, the 91 overall goalie, is struggling. And we don't really have much offense coming from our defenders. In the entire league, it is the nervous guy with the most wins currently. Well, tied with Jake Yo and Dustin Wolf. Defensively, Brandon Montour. Holy! 33 points in 26 games. That is insane. Kale McCarr somehow ended up on San Jose. <laughs> Yeah, and Connor McDusty on the Philadelphia Flyers has 40 points in 26 games. Bedard still in Chicago, 38 in 29 games. Pasta, at least he's still on the Bruins. Marner is playing with McDavid, so that's fair. That should definitely be allowed by the league. I mean, I guess Leon and McDavid play together, so. All right, well, there you have it. It's a good start. Next video, we will most likely be passing the trade deadline. See if we maybe beef up a little bit. Probably not, because all the teams that I get put on, or I guess I should say, no, this one I chose. The other one, not so much, got drafted. But anyway, they don't seem to do anything. But thank you for tuning in. Hopefully, you're still enjoying the series. And yeah, I'm trying to keep it, like, up-tempo so that every video kind of matters. And I think we still got, you know, quite a bit here to go. We still got a lot left to prove, I'll tell you that for free. If you could like and subscribe, that'd be greatly appreciated. If you just don't want to, fair. I'll see you soon.